This is International Math Olympiad 2012, problem 3. Let's understand the rules of this game and both questions of this problem. This game has three parameters. All of them are positive integer numbers. K, N, and capital N greater than lowercase n. All three parameters are known to both players. Player A selects one number x from the list of numbers 1, 2, 3, etc. up to capital N. The game ends when player B specifies a sublist of the initial list. If number x belongs to this list, player B wins, otherwise player B loses. The length of sublist that player B specifies is limited by lowercase n. Before that, player B can ask the unlimited number of questions. In each question, player B specifies a sublist of the list of numbers from 1 through capital N, and player A must answer whether number X belongs to this sublist or not. The meaning of parameter K is the maximal number of consecutive answers in which player A is allowed to lie. The first question of this problem is to prove that if lowercase n is not less than 2 to the power of k, then the winning strategy exists for player b. The second question b asks to prove that 2 to the power of k is the smallest low limit for n. Or more specifically, we need to prove that for all sufficiently large numbers k, there exists number n greater than 1.99 to the power of k such that player b doesn't have guaranteed winning strategy. The first observation is that each answer by player a adds some information about every integer number i from 1 to capital N. This number is either accepted by player A as a potential target number X or rejected. The winning strategy for player B is to keep track of the rejected numbers and identify a number that has been rejected in K consecutive answers. So that if it's rejected in answer number K plus 1, then it can be eliminated as a potential number x, since the real target number x cannot be rejected in k plus 1 consecutive answers. It would be equivalent to lying more than k times in a row. We will assume that capital N is greater than lowercase n, otherwise B would simply specify the entire list without asking any questions and would win. In the first question, B can specify any 2 to the power of k minus 1 numbers from the initial list 1 through capital N. That guarantees more than 2 to the power of k minus 1 numbers left in the list. So that after any answer to this question, there will be at least 2 to the power of k minus 1 rejected numbers. In the second question, we will specify half of these rejected numbers, so that after any answer to the second question, there will be at least 2 to the power of k minus 2 numbers rejected in both answers, first and second. We will continue this process until question number k, in which b will specify one number from at least 2 to the power of 1 numbers, rejected in all the previous k-1 answers. That will leave at least one number after k consecutive questions that was rejected in all k answers. Let denote this number by i1. In question number k plus 1, b should specify one single number i1. If i1 is rejected, this number can be eliminated since it's been rejected in k plus 1 consecutive answers. If i1 is accepted, b should ask the second sequence of k questions based on 2 to the power of k numbers, which exclude number a1, and should find another number 
I2 in the analogous algorithm which identifies number I2 as the number that has been rejected in all these second group of K answers. Then number I2 can be certainly eliminated. Let's prove it. Suppose that I2 is X. Then the previous group of K consecutive answers were all lies. And also, accepting number I1 immediately prior to it was also a lie, which makes K plus 1 consecutive lies. Contradiction. So number I2 can be eliminated. So if N is greater than or equal to 2 to the power of K, Player B can repeatedly eliminate numbers from the initial set one by one by using the algorithm that we have discussed. When all numbers except n are eliminated, player B has the set of n numbers that include number x. That proves part A of this problem. To prove the second part of this problem, it suffices to set n to 2 to the power of k minus 2 for sufficiently large k. To meet the requirement specified in the conditions, we need to find such positive integer number k0 that for all integer numbers k greater than or equal to k0, 2 to the power of k minus 2 is greater than or equal to 1.99 to the power of k. This inequality can be transformed to another inequality shown on the screen, which has in the left-hand side an exponential function whose base is greater than 1. If we draw graphs of these two functions, we see that one is monotonically increasing, the other monotonically decreasing. These both functions are continuous functions, and clearly they have one single point of intersection. The smallest positive integer, x0, that is greater than this point of intersection on the k-axis is our number x0. So for any k that is at least x0, we set lowercase n to 2 to the power of k minus 2 and uh, capital N to 2 to the power of k minus 1. We need to demonstrate at least one scenario in which a winning strategy is not guaranteed for player B. So we have set the capital N to 2 to the power of k minus 1. Since this is an odd number, the best player B can do is to partition it in two uneven sets. One with 2 to the power of k minus 1 numbers and the other with 2 to the power of k minus 1 minus 1 numbers. And player A should reject that smaller part. In general, the strategy of player A is to minimize the number of rejected numbers. And this number, 2 to the power of k minus 1 minus 1, is exactly 1 half of n, since we have set n to 2 to the power of k minus 2. So in all the subsequent answers, player A will make sure that the number of rejected numbers is not greater than n divided by 2 squared, etc., all the way to n divided by 2 to the power of k. Since n equals 2 to the power of k minus 2 in our scenario, the number of rejected numbers that player A has selected in k consecutive answers is less than 1, and therefore it's equal to 0. Thus, the possibility to eliminate at least one number has been denied by player A to player B. This proves the second part of this problem. We're done.